Hi everybody, it's Amy at uh, Crafty Cat, and I have a, an Etsy share, oh my goodness, Etsy shop share. <laughs> um, Marie from After Midnight Designs contacted me yesterday and asked if I would um, use some of her digis in a journal of mine. And so, uh, very coincidentally, I'm doing this um, Valentine's journal, and I was looking for some other papers to put in it, and I just kind of wasn't finding what I wanted and um, all that kind of thing and so I went and checked her shop out so do that because she does have some really cool stuff she's got um, lots of like shabby she's got some botanicals she's got Alice in Wonderland she's got like a chivalry kind of one a springtime she's got just labels a whole bunch of labels which are really awesome so um, and she's got some junk journals and stuff too so yeah just go check her out she's got some cool stuff so it was very kind of her to contact me and these are the papers that I chose to use these uh, were perfect for uh, my Valentine's journal so I printed them out on parchment paper so this is just regular parchment paper that I got from Amazon off of Amazon and it's the I've had lots of people asking again it's this Southworth and Melody is the one that turned me on to this so you can get it um, it's in a black box at Walmart because it's um, I think 80 count and this is a hundred so it's the light gray box I think they do that for the different count of paper but the paper is the same and it's ivory so that's what I used and uh, printed them out on there and you can see these are really cool because they look like all different layers of paper just kind of all stacked on top of each other like here's one with a stamp and there's kind of a swirly pattern but they all look old and uh, you know like raggedy edges and all that so I cut them out and you might be able to see on this side better see how the edge I just went around what was already there and cut them and then inked them and so yeah I thought those were super fun and then I put them in my journal signatures but we're gonna do some other stuff with them today so I'm gonna set the oh I'll show them all to you first there's the little tiny roses and then these beautiful ones they all kind of look like old wallpaper or something to me they're really kind of neat and then there's a bigger rose pattern and they all look very antiqued you know and this I think is like a peony I could be wrong <laughs> I know some flowers but other ones not as much and then this is just like a whole bouquet with tulips and just all different flowers there's some little birds up here so yeah that's cool and then these are some roses with a little bit of light blue so you get six designs in this kit so yeah I thought they were really pretty and they go perfectly I'll kind of give you a peek at what I've got so far not a whole ton but at least I got my signatures are together so um, like here's this one in here and it, it just goes really nicely so thank you Marie I really do appreciate it um, this is that little the kissing couple thing and I just sewed the flap down on here and I just added some rickrack and lace and kind of messy you know stitched it on there so that's that and then the card comes out that side you guys have seen the, that whole thing and then I have lots of avocado dye and some of my digi and here's another one of Marie's after midnight and let's see I've got some music paper and how did I not did I not oh yeah right here Death medieval mirage I've got in here and I'll be adding more stuff I just this is as far as I have gotten and in this one I put our loaded sideways pocket that we made the other day and Medieval Mirage. I thought I put two pieces. I'll have to get another piece of Medieval Mirage. I added this little um, one of the window envelope that we made the other day onto this page. So yeah. Anyway, that's kind of where that's as far as I've gotten so far with that. And I have an idea for a cover. So I got my cover all prepped yesterday, and it's going to be the cardboard again. And I just pulled off all that orange stuff from the paper pumpkin boxes 
So that's kind of what's left, but we're going to cover all of it anyway. So I was going to do the corrugated cardboard thing again, and I wasn't, I don't know, I just wasn't happy with um, what was coming to me, I guess. And then I saw Yvonne Preston do one of Artie Mays' things, and I think I'm going to do something like that for that cover. So anyway, I'm going to move these aside so that I don't mess them up with ink or something. I hope you guys are all having an awesome day. I am having a nice day so far. I um, did a really stupid thing the other day. I had my, if you're wondering why I'm using this archival ink instead of my distress ink, I have these little bottles to, you know, re-ink my distress ink. And I always keep my black far away from my brown so that I don't do stupid things. Well, my black was over in the same spot as my brown and I put black on my brown ink pad. So yeah, ruined that ink pad and had to order another one. So bummed about that. But anyway, so that's why I'm using this one. All right, so what I did is I took a piece of Marie's beautiful paper and I used this that I got from um, In Love Arts Shop. It's just a die cut and it's the one that you fold this part over and it kind of makes a little pocket over here and then the little tab sticks off. Well, I just cut it, you know, so that I got that much of it. I didn't, I just wanted this much. <laughs> and um, so I just, it overlapped a little bit and I just cut off the extra that I didn't want. And then I just put some tiny little pink um, brads in the holes. So you can kind of see those. And I backed it with uh, that pink um, painter's masking paper that I get from Home Depot so that it would be a little bit stronger because like I said I just printed all these on parchment paper and then I also shrunk down um, there these ones measure about three and a quarter by four and a quarter but you know you can shrink them down however you want on your however your printer does it um, just to make kind of journaling cards so they make really nice and I cut around them with the uneven edge and all that and I think they turned out cool and I backed them with all different just you know, papers, music paper, that's that manila drawing paper, there's some numbers there, uh, avocado dye, and um, one of those score cards. All right, so that's what I have there, and then these ones, I actually printed all these on um, coffee dyed paper, or it was, no, it was tea dyed, so see, it's a lighter color, but anyway, these ones I didn't back or anything, just in case I want to use a piece of them, or whatever. All right. Anyway, get to it, Amy. Stop jabbering about nothing. Okay, so I took and I cut three different, these were actually my scraps, um, strips of coffee dyed, tea dyed paper. And we're going to make some of these little envelopes. And this is, of course, not my idea. Um, Gail Agostinelli just did this in her uh, video about what she does like when she's watching TV and things like that. And I've, I think it was Lori Girl on the Ridge that originally came up with this or something like that. I'm not really sure where exactly it came from, but definitely not my idea. So you just bring the two corners down and then fold this piece down. And the reason I have three different size strips, I'm gonna turn it around this way, is because um, that'll make three different size envelopes. I'm sure that was apparent. I just thought I should tell you. <laughs> and then um, you kind of want equal parts, right? So I'm going to just eyeball it because these are going to be glued down. They're not going to be the ones that uh, you can open and close and write in. They're going to be closed completely. So let me see if I actually measure a little, that might help. So we're going to go here, about here, I think, roughly. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And of course it's not because I can't ever cut in a straight line and then you can fold it just a little bit and you don't even have to do that you can just do one fold up to the top which is how Gail did it which was probably smarter than the way I did it because now oh that's not too bad um th this is just going to make it thicker so you really don't even need this strip down here I was thinking of the ones that you write on so I'm just going to cut this off because I don't need it duh Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having an awesome day because I didn't have to go to work. <sighs> We're having the teacher collaboration day thing and um, I'm part-time so 
basically what it comes down to. They won't pay me to come in, so I don't. So that made my day. And yesterday I was not feeling well, so I didn't go to work yesterday either. Just, ugh, stomach was no good. That's the only problem with that job. It's like you get all kinds of bugs as kids. Alright, so that's, you know, kind of wonky, but it's fine. And then I um, die cut some hearts, so I'm just going to do that kind of thing to seal it down. Well, I mean, I'm going to seal it down, but just for a decoration, really. So these make cute little, like, tuck spots or what have you, depending on how you want to put them together. But I thought they would look cute on this um, little, to make a pocket. Man, I got the shakes. Coffee. <laughs> um, imagine if I had, like, multiple cups. All right, so we're going to do this one next. I'm about out of our glitter glue. You know what I really need is my glasses. What do I do with them? I thought I had everything all ready to go and organized, but that never happens. I'll be right back. All right, hi, sorry, they were just over on the other table, but I couldn't see them. Imagine that. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing, just make a smaller one, which can be a little bit tricky because it's tiny and the next one's going to be even tinier. Probably should have started with the tiniest one. Yeah, so um, after Midnight Designs, she is from, out of, what am I doing? I need to fold it over at least once, out of France. And so I thought that, how cool is that? I'd love to go visit someday there. I haven't even been, well, I, I've been to New York, so I guess I have been back east, but... I haven't been that many places, so. so there's another little envelope. And I didn't go there until just a couple of years ago with my daughter, so. She had an orchestra thing there. That was really cool. We went to Manhattan School of Music, so that was cool. So see, you're starting to get the idea, you're kind of doing that kind of a thing. Now if I can fold this one without tearing it or maiming it in some way. That's the tips that are the interesting part, and I'm sure there's a better way to do this. I just don't know what it is. Because you want them obviously to be the same size pretty much. And they're not. I just want them to meet up at the bottom so that they are the same size. trying to get the size here roughly. They're a little bit fiddly but they're cute. And um, I've seen Lori Girl on the Ridge make them as well and she makes super tiny ones. I'm like how do you even... Uh, so I'm going to use a couple of these little tiny hearts instead of the bigger one for this one.
if I can hold on to them. Speaking of tiny. And I've tried using tweezers, but I struggle with that too, so I don't know what the answer is. Just don't do a lot of tiny, I guess. Okay. There, and then I'm going to ink those. I probably should have cut those out of the same paper, but it's fine. If you were finding all different ones, they wouldn't all be the same color anyway, so papers are different colors too. I inked that first one and I forgot to ink these ones. <laughs> you guys were probably like, Amy, what are you doing? And you could use different papers, like all different papers to make those too. You don't have to um, use just the coffee stained, you know, you could use different, different stuff. And then I'm going to do this one here, and I'm going to make it like a tuck for, um, right there. So let's see how we can glue these together. Because we've got to get it about the size of the, bring that one all the way down. I'm going to do it up a little. I don't want it to hang off the... I don't want it to hang off this. Sorry, I'm probably mumbling. I'm sorry about that. It's the thinking aloud thing, I guess. <laughs> and I don't want to glue down the other part. Let's get a little more hair. We don't want whatever we are putting in and out of there to keep getting caught on these little corners. And I think I'll put a little lower down. Okay, so that's just all one piece now. glue it where we don't want it on there. Do you guys see um, Gail's picture at Creativation with Tim Holtz? I was like, I'm so jealous. You got to meet Tim Holtz. <laughs> How fun would that be? It's awesome. She deserves it. She's worked so hard. It's crazy when I think of all the videos every day because I, I, I struggle getting them um, done you know, every other day and stuff like that, just with life going on, you know. So I'm always very impressed with the people that can do it every single day. And I know she's retired, but still you got life. It's not like you're not doing anything at all. So I thought that was pretty awesome. What a fun thing to go do. And then that can go onto a page. I need to ink it a little bit. And I kind of want to put something up here too. I'm just not sure what. stuff that I've cut and backed and done all of that too. I had, I thought, some words in here. Can I end this one? No.
probably not going to be able to find them now. of stuff in here too much obviously since I can't find what I'm looking for oh well I guess I will figure out something else how about oh, I could use one of these I think I'm just gonna do A portion of this stamp. It says sending you my love. And we'll do it on a piece of coffee dyed paper because I just want part of it and so this way I can cut it or tear it or whatever if I end up with more of it than what I wanted. Because I don't know if this is going to work. We're just going to stamp the whole thing and then Oh, of course the part I want ends up all <laughs> no color, <laughs> hardly. <laughs> Let's try that again. I would use the whole thing, but I don't think it'll fit. It might. Well, a whole lot better, but a little bit better. Okay, so I just want the words, basically. I, I love that, but like I said, it's a little bit big for what I got going on here. Oh, and I just tore off the Y. Oh my goodness, Amy. Some days, should've just stayed in bed. If only, right? times do you have to stamp the same image okay let's try hopefully the third time will be the time those stamps I just got with a magazine that I got it came as like a free gift or whatever Yeah, I like these papers. I really like the um, how they look like wallpaper, and I also like um, that stacked look that she's got on this particular one. It's just really cool. I think I'll add some of these little hearts, even though I can't hardly hold on to them. And these come from, I have this circle punch thing and all around the edge are little tiny hearts and so these fall out all the you know every time you run the die so um, I thought might as well grab a few of those to put on stuff even though they're super dinky yeah. 
Yeah, let's just let's just do it. Why not? It's for Valentine's Day. I feel like it needs one more over here. <laughs> it's the odds thing. Even though there's three because of that one, I need three of these little ones for some reason. It's that odd, odd thing. It's more pleasing to the eye for whatever reason. Alright, so that'll go in our book, and then I cut a tag as well, so it can, you know, tuck in there. Um, and I also thought one of these might be kind of cool, or just one of these, because that's kind of big. And then in the front, we could put, what could we put? And it sticks up high, but I could trim it down because you don't need all that up there. So let me see. Yeah, something like that would work. That would be cute. I need to trim the edge off of that a little more, I think. Should have kept my cutter out. Let's cut these. Trim it again. That's all it needs. It doesn't need all the other stuff. And then we can back it with some scrap paper. Which I've got loads of. Just put some pink avocado. Oh, you know what? Maybe not. Yeah, let's use the pink. This is from Denise. Her graph and stripes. Or <laughs> lines, stripes. <laughs> wow. Like I said, should have stayed in bed. Just for some journaling spot. And then we'll decorate up that other card to put in there. I wasn't sure which I wanted to use, the journaling card or the tag, but I kind of like the card, I think. on there. I love it when I see those old pictures with the stamp on them. That's just kind of fun. That one's kind of cool. Yeah, it's going to take up a lot, huh? Yeah, that side would be better. Thanks, Denise. It's fun to have some stamps to play with. I need to order some of those. Just gives that a little, a little something. And I'm going to use my lines. See, I put my black ink all the way over there, but I did not do that very well. 
before with the inkers. can use a little something else in there. Well, let's decorate this card first and then we can worry about that. Look at I'm getting fingerprints all over. That's the only thing about this that drives me nutty because I hate, <laughs> I hate fingerprints on stuff. My phone drives me crazy too. I wonder if she would fit. That would be cute. That's cute. I love that. I know it's not really necessarily Valentine's Day, but hey, she looks adorable. I do have this. Um, maybe that would go better with the theme. Some people are saying yay, others are saying aww. <laughs> it's the way of it, right? I'm just going to tear this out. <laughs> I think I got this one on New York Public Library. I'm not sure. It's hard to remember because like I said, if I see them, I either print them out or I, you know, put them in a file or whatever, so... Her, I think pattern and then we need like something something else Maybe. sorry digging through my stuff again Those are from Medieval Mirage, and I can't remember which kit that is from exactly. I'll have to look it up, but I'll put it in the description box. And I kind of just want part of it because I don't want to cover up all the roses back there. I'm just going to tear it. So hopefully my new ink pad will come today. And I went ahead and got more of these because I'm done with the makeup brushes. They do not work in, for me. Maybe it's just me and the way I do it, I don't know, but I have zero luck with that whole deal. So anyway, <clears throat> it's kind of frustrating. way. I'm 
gives it more layers and then I need a little something down there. And you know what? How about a dictionary word or something like that? probably took it out already. <laughs> Darn. Um, I know. Let's go with it was love and I already took that one out. Not that that really surprises me, but this will work. door. Sorry, feel free to fast forward. <laughs> it's like watching paint dry. We're gonna use some tacky glue. Sorry I'm so quiet. I guess I just don't have a lot to talk about, you know, being home all day yesterday and home today and nothing exciting happening, which is awesome. <laughs> don't mind me, I I like it when it's uh, very calm. Not much going on. And I'm just gonna squish it a little so you can still read it. ripped off the A over there a little. That was good. But I'm sure it's good enough. My daughter's downstairs knocking down the kitchen apparently. <laughs> okay, let's figure out where we want to put that. Let me see. What do we have? 26. Okay, we're not doing too bad. I feel like I'm just moving like molasses, which is probably, you're probably feeling much the same. Some days, I don't know. I feel like I'm moving slow. This is a good spot for something because this is so randomly nothing. So I think I will put it to there. It, this is out of a um, like a home economics class book or you know sewing class type thing and I just like some of the images in it they're just kind of fun and the lady that I got it from had written in it and everything Let's see you can see her writing and just kind of cool so I put one of those in there yeah and then we need one more little something. I've got this. This would work. These little cherubs. Those are adorable. 
yeah we'll just do that because it's already backed and inked and everything so that's that and then I saw Rachel at Roxy Creations um, making tickets and I've seen lots of people making tickets but I wanted to make tickets using this paper and then I saw how Rachel did it and I was like that's a cool idea and I guess she saw it um, from Miriam I think it's Miriam Smaller but I'm not positive about that so but I saw Rachel do it and that's all I can tell you and I'll link that video so that you can go check it out I think I'll use I'm trying to decide I think I'll use this one and I'm just going to tear it where I had it folded ah, well, sort of move these because I want to use my stamp board I've not used this yet so bear with me because it might be it might might be ugly I don't know Whoa. see I'm already breaking it So I think how you do this is roughly line it up over here. We're going to hold these down. And I'm going to take my Tim Holtz tickets. The reason I'm using this thing is because I want to make sure I get them lined up. Oh, Pasha, couldn't stop. Oh, yeah. There's his plastic. How did I stick that one? It's just like stuck to the back. I want to use these ones that really look like tickets. And I think I'll probably, because they're all different widths is the problem, so, oh, these two are the same, so maybe I'll just do those two, since they're the same size. I don't think this one is, is it? No, it's smaller. Okay, we'll just go with those for now and see how it works. I kind of want to get over here where there's some variation of color and all of that. I need just a little ah, bit of room. See, I can't move my fingers without. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Worry about myself sometimes. So is that? Yeah, that works. Okay. And then I think I'm going to use not black, my this black, I think it's gotten goopy or something, and I'm not really sure why, but I just need to get a new one. Make sure I get all over it. I haven't used these before, so a lot of times the first time they just don't get inked very well. Sorry, you guys can barely see, I know, but it's not that exciting. I'm just putting the ink on the tickets there. That one is really inky. This four just doesn't want to ink. <laughs> okay, let's try this. I have no idea. I'm going to let it sit there a second. I'm going to get a drink of water. Okay. I'm going to truth, right? I know the whole idea is you can do it again, but uh, they need to be closer together. I don't know. We'll try it and see how it goes. Let me get something to clean those off. I mean, they stamped well. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. I'll leave those there just in case I want to do it again. I 
And I think I'll use my cutter to get them out of there. Oops. I'm just getting my scoreboard, which has a cutter too, but. These are still a little wet. Pasha, stop. He's looking for plastic again. It's so funny. I thought he, he's the only cat I've ever had that's done that, but I've had so many people tell me that their cats do that. <laughs> so it makes me feel better. I thought it was just him that was nutty, but I guess, I mean, I know all cats are a little nutty, but, or pets, period. But, uh, yeah, it was funny. Pasha, please stop. And I don't mind it to an extent, like he does it to his um, food bag. Like I said, he'll get in the pantry, on the it's on the floor, and he just licks it, which I pretty much just let him do. Obviously, it's not that big of a deal, but sometimes it just really gets on my nerves after a while, the sound of it or something. It's like, just stop. This one, I'm going to cut like this with these, and these are just decal. I don't have one that's like um, perfectly got the edges. I don't know what this has to do with Valentine's Day at all, but hey, you know. <laughs> I guess we could put a heart or something on there. I mean, not that it all has to be hearts and everything, but. And then I just have this piece of foam, which works great for poking into. I like stuff like this when I'm doing needle felting. And if you don't know what that is, that's where you get um, wool roving, which is kind of like just the puffy wool. And... Um, Poke it with a needle that has barbs, and it makes it felt together. So I did that for a while. I feel like this is going to get black on me. So anyway, what Rachel did and what she learned is just to go along and poke, you know, perforation holes, basically. So I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? I don't know. It's super tiny. You see the little hole in there? Okay. So you can tear them apart, and then they you know, tear apart easily, but also I think it just kind of looks cool. And she did multiples, but I'm just going to do this one. And try to sort of evenly space them. It doesn't really matter, but... Then I'm going to take my hole punch. I don't know if the big one would be best, or... Like this size. This size might be better. It's a, I don't know what size. It's Fiskars. I don't know. You can see the hole right there. That's the size. But you can, you could do a big one too, probably, and it's not going to make that big of a difference. It's just making those little, you know, divots that are in tickets like that. And if you, like, don't get it out quite the way you want, you could always go back with scissors and, like, finish cutting whatever little portion is left out. Helps if you can see. <laughs> it was great when I, I could craft without glasses. I loved it. See, like, that one I kind of messed up, but that's okay because I can fix it. paper is very pretty. I like it. It goes good with what I'm doing. That one I didn't get very well. Let me see if I can get a little bit more. There we go. Some little tickets. And so it, you know, will fold in the middle and you could pull them apart if you wanted to. They'll, you know, come apart because they're perforated right there. So that's kind of fun. I like that. I like it a lot. So maybe we could add like a little rose on there or something just to decorate it up a bit. 
And this is something I just fussy cut out of Lord knows because like I said, I have my whole Valentine uh, bag because I've done Valentine stuff for a while so it kind of just but you know you can find little roses and things to cut out places Pinterest is a good place you just have to watch out for copyright if you're gonna sell so don't forget that um, you can get stuff off of Etsy too and just make sure you read what they say about like like with um, after midnight design I can sell pieces that I make using her digis but some don't let you do that so just make sure that you check you don't want to um, get into a copyright issue obviously where's my little my yucky towel okay so those are kind of fun so those could go let's put those in that pocket that we made if I can find my stuff I need to ink the back of them. Glad I turned them over. They're on parchment, so um, I like the way the back is already, but I'm going to ink it a little bit. side it sticking out. So there's that all finished. All right I hope you guys liked that and that was just something a little fun with those little tiny envelopes and some tickets and all. And yeah definitely go check out After Midnight Design um, on Etsy got some very pretty things and like I said I really love these layered that layered look of paper it's just kind of kind of cool looks old so I hope you guys have an awesome day and if you like my videos please like and subscribe bye bye now